All right, so welcome everyone. Enterprise feature update management. This is something that we have kind of a bunch of us just pulled together. We felt that there was not enough information out there and we're getting lots of questions. We spend a lot of time talking to people about this. And so we wanted to kind of uh, just band together and uh, kind of make this a, a longish uh, workshop slash user group meeting slash qu uh, question and answer. So we've got our lineup today full of all sorts of people with great knowledge and we've challenged them all. They've paired up and we've given them 30 minutes per session. So that's going to be quite challenging. Um, we will make the recordings and slides available afterwards and we'll get that figured out. And the um, everyone's Twitter handle is there as well. So people will introduce themselves as they, they come up um uh, well, where's my oh i don't have that so just a quick thing about why we're talking feature updates today and why people keep asking about it so the number one reason that i hear is they're wanting to make more less impact on the end user so this is probably the biggest uh, difference between a traditional task sequence which is very popular and certainly has a good place in the um in the use case of, of upgrading windows from one version to the next but with the feature update you're able to to have the user online longer so when that feature update starts that user can continue to use their machine all up until that first reboot uh, task sequence as soon as that task sequence kicks off to start the upgrade itself uh, the user is not able to use their machine so, and the other piece is that they, you can allow the user to control the reboot. Uh, this is the, the native uh, pop-up that you'll get. Uh, you can control this with uh, configuration manager of what the user actually sees and, and if they have any choices. Uh, but this is a, a, an important piece and, and the user can defer the actual update finishing in that long time where they're not online by simply picking shutdown or restart instead of update and shutdown or update and restart. Simplicity, you know, it, it is a lot more simple. Uh, after today, you may say, well, maybe not so simple, but you can choose to keep it very simple uh, and uh, uh, but also add complexity where you need to. Uh, you're only doing one thing, so it's easy to troubleshoot and uh, the rollback is simpler because again, you're only doing one thing, upgrading the operating system. And most importantly, too, in our work from home days is that you can apply the same processes you're going to learn about today to your on premises, uh, hybrid or cloud. So the, the engineering work that you do will translate easily into all of those formats. And uh, uh, you, because the content's coming from Microsoft, you don't have to pay for it if you've got um, uh, needing to go through the cloud to deliver content. So here are our sessions for today. Uh, we've got the uh, just kind of us get kicking it off, Adam and I, and then uh, how, how you get started. Like you're very new to feature updates. We're going to give you those tips on how to get going with it and how to set yourself up for success. Uh, set it and forget it. Uh, that's going to be using the cloud and Intune to do it. As I said, this can translate from on-prem to modern very easily. Um, trust and verify, uh, that's all, all about reporting. And I think you're going to see some interesting uh, pieces there. And then when the wheels fall off, so when things go wrong, how do you start to troubleshoot uh, feature updates? And then June's going to finish us off with like what's next. And then we're going to have a pretty extensive Q&A session. So we have challenged everyone to kind of compact things into a short amount of time. Um, so we'll see how that goes. We're, we want to keep this informal and flexible. Encourage everyone to use the, the chat as much as possible. We'll be answering questions as the presenters are presenting in the chat as much as we can. Um, what else, Adam? Uh, you know, I uh, you, you've done an incredible job with it. So first, I would just want to thank Julie for picking up the ball with this. Uh, I said, hey, Julie, you want to do this? And then and I said, hey, Julie, you're really good at organizing these things. So uh, so she's 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 done most of the heavy lifting. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is amazing. Um, but also 
really the the goal of this is to have conversation. We wanted to have a centralized um, you know pile of people that can have a conversation about feature updates. Um, and uh, so please keep the chat active. Um, you know, if you know answers, great, throw out answers and things. We're not, you know, we're not saying we're the only people that know this. We just, we wanted to facilitate a discussion around this stuff. So, um, hopefully at the end of each, if we have time, as we have time, we'll have, um, a little bit of time for a couple of questions at the end of each, each presenter sections, but then we'll have a bigger, um, Q and A at the end. And, um, if you can't get your questions answered, um, today through this, um, you know, you, you can absolutely reach out to us on, on Twitter or other means, and we will be happy to uh, help. So we're we're so excited. Um, I think the biggest challenge today, at least from for me, is going to be just to uh, stop talking and let other people talk because uh, I have so much stuff. I'm so excited. I've just I got too many things to uh, throw out here. So. Um, this is going to be great to hear from these other folks and uh, hear what they're doing as well. So I'm just as excited, hopefully, as you guys. Let's get rolling. All right. Give them some extra time. All right, I'm going to stop presenting here.